this week. Uh, COVID, we, luckily, we're uh, we're surviving it right now, so we don't have um, very many players out compared to last week. So uh, we should be all healthy and ready to go for Friday. Well, it's disappointing to not play. Um, you know, you want to have your ten games for your seniors, and then not getting able to, not being able to play, not being able to find an opponent. Uh, we reached out to 15 teams in three different states just to find a game, and to not get that was disappointing. Uh, there's a bye week coming up later in the season. Maybe we can pick some games up, uh, but I think with this year and COVID just just getting crazy, that it's going to be a wild year trying to find games all throughout the season. Uh, Riverdale's a good team, so they're very well coached. Coach Kreisky's done a great job, been there for, this will be his sixth year. And so he's built the program kind of from scratch, kind of like what we're trying to do here. Uh, so he's built it up. They're loaded this year. They've got five big time players on defense, a couple power five uh, outside linebackers, the Herring brothers, who are unbelievable players. One of them's committed to Tennessee. The other one's got a Tennessee offer. So uh, it's a huge challenge. Uh, they got Kelly, uh, Kelly Holcomb calls plays for their offense and his son is the quarterback. So it's a huge challenge to play these guys. Uh, they're the number three team in the state for, the re for a reason. So um, it's going to be awesome though to get out there and see what we can do. Well, I'm kind of learning what the backyard brawl is. Um, I learned that Coach Mathers apparently ran wild. Uh, Octavius Mathers when he was here in the Mud Bowl and that was the first time I believe that Blackman beat Riverdale back in early 2000s, I think it was, and coaches were sliding across the mud. So I learned about that uh, from Mr. Seedorf, our librarian. He kind of did some history of the game. Uh, I know recently Blackman's eight and two in the last 10 years, but you can throw all that stuff out typically in rivalry games. So this is what high school football is about. It should be really fun. Rivalry games are awesome. And so it's gonna be really fun on Friday night.